What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I have my TBR for Contemporary-a-thon. Contemporary-a-thon is going to be from the 23rd to the 29th of September and the hosts are Chelsea from Chelsea Dolling Reads, Julie from Pages and Pens, Mel from Mel to the Any, and Natasha from My Reading is Odd. All the links for that will be down below. I love Contemporary, I love Contemporary-a-thon, and this is a busy month for me because I am getting back into the routine of school and everything, so I don't know how this is going to work. But because this is my channel and my TBRs always have a twist on them, today I'm going to be picking a color and reading the same color for a week. So the Holy of Contemporary Thon, I will be reading books that are the same color. So if you do enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more content like this. So I'm gonna get right into the video. I asked you on Twitter and Instagram to send me colors and you guys came through with some weird colors. So if you did respond to me, thank you. So I wrote the colors down on pieces of paper and put them in this hat. And it's actually a rainbow hat, um, very on brand for me. And because colors, I thought that they should go in a rainbow hat. So I'm just gonna shake it up, pick a color, and pick the books. So here we go. I got so many weird colors, so I don't even know what it's going to be. All right, I'll show you first. So I got the color green, which kind of sucks because there are so many other colors in here. Like someone sent me baby poop brown and I was really hoping to get that color, but I guess I'll just have to do a color video again. Um, but the other problem is that one of the challenges for contemporary thon is to read a book with yellow on the cover. So I mean, I'm going to have to pick a book with green on the cover, but then Hopefully I have one that also has yellow and I don't even know how many green books I own. So if I don't own enough, then I'm just gonna have to repick. So here we go. I'm also gonna be following all the challenges. So my rules are that I'm going to pick three books and I'm going to try and make them fit to every challenge. So now I'm gonna go look on my bookshelf and see which green books I have and try and fit them to the challenges. And then I will be back to show you what I pick. So green ended up being the hardest color to find because I don't really have a lot of green books. I even looked at my Kindle library and I couldn't find books that would fit the challenges. So I'm gonna just repick. Show the camera first. Purple. <laughs> All right, I can kind of work with that. Hopefully I have enough purple books. If not, I'm just gonna have to pick a different color. So if I don't have enough purple, I'm just gonna pick another color, color. And so I'll do purple, green, and something else maybe. I didn't think that this would be as hard as it actually is. So I actually ended up having way more purple on my shelves than I expected. And I was able to try and fit most of the challenges into some of the books. So this is just my potential TBR. I know I said three books, but Honestly, I always go overboard and these could just work anyway. The first challenge is to read a 2019 release, which I'm going with Hope and Other Punchlines by Julie Booksbaum. I've been meaning to read this and I'm so excited to finally get to it. The next challenge is to read a diverse contemporary, which is outside of your own experience. And I'm going with Star World by Audrey Colehurst and Paula Gardner. This is about Sam and Zoe, and Sam is dealing with her mother who has OCD, and Zoe is adopted, and she is dealing with her mother having cancer. So there is a bunch of diversity in this book, and I am really excited to read it. The next challenge is to read a dark slash hard-hitting contemporary and this is actually set during 9-11 and I'm pretty sure that this would be a dark hard-hitting contemporary. In general, the tragedy of 9-11 is a really hard-hitting subject so I would imagine that this would be a dark or hard-hitting contemporary. And I think Star World could probably go for that as well but I'm not entirely sure because I haven't read the books yet so I don't know until I've read it. Next is to read a book with plants on the cover. And this cover has <laughs> two trees here. I would imagine that that could work. Trees are plants. And this is also an illustrated cover, which is the other challenge. Next is to read a contemporary with yellow on the cover. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna get this, but I did. I have Are We All Lemmings and Snowflakes by Holly Bourne. 
This book was a recommendation from another booktuber. I will link her down below because right now I can't remember her channel name or if it's active at the moment, but I will have that link down below and on the screen. This book is all about mental health, which could also go for a darker, hard-hitting contemporary. And I'm pretty sure it is a camp. Yeah, it is a mental health summer camp and I love summer camp tropes. So I'm very excited for this one. And the last book is Vanilla by Bailey Merrill. This is a September TBR pick because I had my sister pick my TBR. If you haven't seen that video, it will be linked up above and down below if you want to go and watch it. This book I'm going to use for diverse contemporary because it does have LGBTQ plus themes. I'm not entirely sure, but I have heard that it does have an asexual character, but I have heard that the asexual rep is not good. So I will have that in mind while I'm reading this. My sister picked it off my TBR, so I just figured that I would put it in for contemporary temporary -a -thon. and that is my TBR. This is totally potential because I don't know if I'm going to read all of these books but I'm just going to read the books that I want to read and I'm glad because I do want to read most of these. We'll just see what my reading is like. I do make creative TBRs a lot. I've done a bunch. I've had my cat pick my TBR. I've done balloon darts. I've done um, number generator. I've basically almost done it all but I will have a playlist down below of all my creative TBRs if you would like to go and watch those videos. If you are participating in contemporary -thon, let me know your TBR down below and I will see you all next time with another video. I hope you're all having a great day.